Okay, we're back live at NAB, and I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconAngle.com, SiliconAngle.tv, and this is where all the action is happening in the media world. We're here to extract the signal from the noise. This is the Cube, our flagship telecast. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise, and uh, we're here at NAB, and I'm here with my co-host. I'm Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org, and John, we're here with Dan Bennett. Dan, also known as the Demo Meister. He's inside this uh, Intel Studio experience doing some demos. We're going to talk about that, and uh, it's just an amazing scene here, isn't it, John? Yeah, you know, I was at the Sundance Film Festival a couple of years ago, and, uh, you know, talk about workstations and the computing power was, this is pre-Mac, high-end Macs, and uh, we're out there, and the workstations were very specialized. Mm -hmm. um, HP has a lot of workstations. They have legacy in Unix. We all know the Mac is built on Unix, right? So these high-end workstations have been around. They're still here. What's the status of these? Because you need a lot of power. You totally to, to, do, yes. To use video. So give us the update on what's going on with HP. You're doing a lot of demos here inside the booth. Tell us sure, what, the, got, what you're got. showing and what's the key, uh, key features of the products. Sure. Well, we've got some new workstations that, w in fact, we've just, just recently refreshed our, pretty much our entire line of workstations. Not quite all of them, but most of them are now refreshed. Um, at the top of the line, we've got the Z820, which replaces our Z800. Um, and the key, key new feature on that is that it supports Intel's latest uh, desktop Xeons, that's the E5 2600 series. Uh, and that's amazing, because that gives you eight cores per CPU. And you can have two CPUs in the box giving you 16 cores. And then you turn on hyper-threading, which is another Intel technology. You've got 32 cores on the desktop. So people doing rendering, ray tracing, you know, real-time um, That's like having a data center things. at your disposal. It, it's almost like a data center. But at the same time, you can't feed it as much current as you would to a server. It's got to be quiet. Yeah. It's got to sit under someone's desk. But from desk. an application standpoint that's doing a lot of things, yes. you can really crank some performance. You absolutely can. You have a choice, really, as a user of whether you're, using, whether you're doing multiple tasks at once or whether you've got one task that needs all the ho horsepower it can get. So, so you got all this I.O. coming out of these cores, like going like crazy, and then it hits the wall of that spinning disk. Is that, uh, well, wh wh <laughs> what's happening there? What do you see is so going on? So the Z820 is well equipped because on the motherboard you have a RAID controller for SATA and a RAID controller for SAS. Um, you can also get an additional RAID controller if you really want to go, go to town on, on striping disks yep, together for get performance. More bandwidth going. And we support SSDs from Intel, which we found when you stripe them together, the performance is just unbelievable. Very, very high performance. We have eSATA for connection to the outside world for people who have, they might have RAID camera storage packs, for example. Um, it's a great way of delivering content to the, to the workstation. So do you see that? I mean, obviously, Flash is coming in. Price points are coming down. Mm -hmm. Do you see that as the, the future, or will it be more of a mix? I think the mix will continue. I think we've seen SSDs taking, up, take, take, taking off. Uh, to some extent, the SSD business was given a bit of a shot in the arm by the, the, the damage the, done in the Thailand. The hard drive prices are going up, right? I right. Mean, well, that's beginning to come down yeah, again right. now. It's straightening out. But mm -hmm. SSD's got a good run there. And I think a lot of people like them. The apps always drive the performance. When you look back at the PC business and workstations, mainly the PCs, because that's where Moore's Law was really in play for the, for the couple of decades before us, the apps drove that. New, new, new app came out, new features. <coughs> and what are the apps doing right now that are taking advantage of that core performance? Because that's a, that's a boatload of performance. Is it just video rendering? What kind of new things are you seeing at the, at the, that's putting pressure on the hardware? Well, ray tracing has always been a, a staple for as many CPU cores as you can provide. And, and so there are companies like, like DreamWorks, for example, who are, who are integrating as much of their tool chain as they can into the parallel space. So that an animator, who previously would be working with grayscale mo models in an animated environment, he now gets to see real time what somebody over in the other part of the building is doing with lighting, and somebody else is doing with the mats, and somebody else is doing with you know, visual effects. And all these things integrate together in real time on everybody's workstation, so they get a much stronger picture of the, the artistic intent of the scene. Um, at the same time, it's not just CPUs that are delivering power to the desktop. Uh, GPUs are also um, very powerful these days and, and can serve as generalized computers. And so for applications that can access uh, the, the power of a GPU, they get very brisk acceleration. So the workflow really is impacted the most by this new, the new tech, right? Sure. I mean, nobody likes watching a progress bar. <laughs> well, also, the, if, if, if people don't have to go back and wait and do, have meetings, 
to get updates on what their softwares are doing. Right. It's, it's in real time, as right. much as possible, I right? I mean, we have customers in many spaces, not just the broadcasters and so on, but you know, we, we, we talk to customers and give them more power and they will do more. They either, they either, it takes less time to do the job, in which case they can do more iterations and end up at a better result, or they can throw more into their workload so they get a better quality result. So we heard from the showreel, Eric, uh, from showreel about how much he loves the new gear, the new cameras, et cetera. What is the coolest thing you're seeing at NAB from a new, s new, new, new toy, new app, that's different this year mm. in the floor that wasn't here last year, or might have been talked about, but what's hitting the marketplace that's kind of new and cutting edge? Am I allowed to talk about an HP product in that space? Sure, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. Because what I haven't mentioned yet is our Z1 workstation, which is the, the really new um, all-in-one workstation from HP that's creating a real buzz. We have some here in the Intel Studio experience. Um, imagine, say, a 27-inch all-in-one computer from a competitor, it's very nice, cool Matt. thing, but it's not what we would call, there you go. <laughs> um, I noticed the logos on the back here. <laughs> it's, okay. um, it's not what we would call a professional workstation. For a professional workstation, you want support for Xeon processors, ECC memory, support for professional graphics from, for example, NVIDIA. Um, our new Z1 has all that. But in addition to that, it's super easy to service. You can just kind of lay it flat, you push a couple of catches and open up the lid, and everything is there. And well, let's put it this way. The reaction I most often get from people when I show them that begins with the word holy. So it's probably some divine So what's the price point of that workstation? Yeah. Well, it starts at about $1,900. But so quite, quite frankly, there's, there's room for expansion on top so of that. So what's the ideal? If, if you're in the video editing and or production space, what, 3,000? Uh, uh, more than that. More than that. Yeah. More like five. Yeah, OK. So I, I, you've sort of touched on it. I want to ask, OK, so you've got all these standard components, you know, Xeon 8-core, mm -hmm. uh, NVIDIA graphics, et cetera. What is HP's value add? Is it the integration? Talk about that a little bit more. Well, the value add for this product is um, because it's integrated all in one with a high quality display, 27-inch display, um, that makes it great for um, use in the field. It makes it great for use in constrained environments. Uh, we think it'll be great in higher education. So for uh, colleges that are teaching you know, film school and, and animation and mechanical design, it's the perfect platform because you just put one per desk and it's a very easy thing to manage. Yeah, so the, the workstation business, you, you know, it's come a long way. You know? <laughs> um, this, the, the, the center of, of workstation expertise at HP is, is where? I mean, it's, just, just it's in diffused, Fort Collins, Northern still Colorado. In Fort Collins, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. That's where I'm based. All right, great. Yeah, we have R&D there, a very strong R&D organization doing all the integration all the mechanical design, mechanical design for the Z1, the Z820, Z620, done in Fort Collins. They're very, very clever guys. So Dave brought up the spinning disk problem. So real quick, I know we have like uh, 30 seconds. Okay. <coughs> With in, me in memory, you mentioned ECC, obviously that needs a lot of benefits. Uh, solid state, a lot of solid state memory in here in these devices. Um, the, the Z820 yeah. can take, you're talking about RAM? Yeah. You can equip it with up to half a terabyte of RAM, 5, 12 megabytes. And then SSD as well. For and then you, could, the then you could raid five, six SSDs together, and you have a really screaming machine. With no <laughs> spinning disk. With no spinning disks. That's the way we're going to say goodbye to the spinning disk. Uh, HP, thanks so much for coming on. Appreciate it. We'll be right back with our next guest. This is The Cube. And thanks to Intel for underwriting our, our Cube to come here at the Intel Studio Experience from live from NAB.